Hi friends, this week we're going to read a passage called Mary Anning, the Girl Who Found Fossils. Born in 1799, Mary Anning lived in the seaside town of Lyme Regis, England. Her family was very poor. Her father, Richard Anning, worked as a carpenter. To earn extra money, he searched for fossils in the seaside cliffs and sold them to tourists as souvenirs. He taught Mary and her older brother Joseph how to hunt for fossils. The, fossil, the fossils they sold weren't full-sized dinosaur bones. Lyme Regis had been at the bottom of the sea 20 million years ago. Their fossils looked like tiny sea creatures turned to stone. One had a coiled shell. Another looked like a miniature squid. Fossils weren't called fossils back then. People called them curiosities because no one really knew what they were. Were they creatures that had been magically turned to stone? Were they animals that had died in Noah's flood? In those days, no one knew about dinosaurs. They didn't know that many fossils were animals that no longer existed. Mary's father died when she was 10. Finding and selling fossils became Mary's full-time job. At 10. At age 12, Mary was fossil hunting with Joseph. He saw a skull sticking out of the rock. The skeleton they uncovered wasn't gigantic like a T-Rex. However, at four, feet long, at four feet long, it was much bigger than their tiny sea creature fossils. At first, people thought it was a crocodile, but it had flippers like a dolphin and a chest like a lizard. People admitted the skeleton was unlike any animal they'd ever seen. Mary went on to discover the fossils of more animals that were eccentric, eccentric, eccentric sorry, and unknown. She found the skeleton of a plesiosaur, a nine-foot-long marine reptile. With its wide body and long snake-like neck, the plesiosaur looks like a sea dragon. Mary found the fossils of a flying reptile. A few years later, she found a prehistoric fish that looked like a mix of a ray and a shark. Like a stingray, you know? Mary Anning's discoveries changed the way people that looked at fossils. Fossils of extinct animals show us what life was like on Earth long ago. In the early 1800s, almost all scientists were men. As a woman from a poor, uneducated background, Mary didn't always get the credit she deserved. When her fossils were displayed in museums, they left off that Mary had discovered them. Women couldn't publish their scientific findings or join the Geological Society. However, when Mary died at 47, the Geological Society printed her death notice in the, their scientific journal. Today, Mary Anding is recognized as one of the top 10 British women to have influenced the, historic, the history of science. And then go ahead and watch the next video for the questions.